Hi, Dr. Mark Jaworth, Cosmetic Surgeon at Laser Center of El Paso. Today we are going to be performing an implant removal and a mastopexy. So this patient presents, she's had implants in place for approximately 13 years. Um, they were put in in Mexico, so I'm not exactly sure what type of implants they are. We do believe they're silicone gel implants, and I do believe they're above the muscle, but she's been having pain in this right breast. That side's a little bit firmer. Uh, we talked about possibly exchanging them for other implants or removing implants and having fat transfer done, but in the end, the patient just wanted to have the implants removed. So we're going to do that, and then we'll also do a vertical scar uh, mastopexy. So she's uh, prepped on the table, and we are, we're ready to go. Okay, so we're well underway with the uh, mastopexy. So the outer layer of skin, or we, what we call de epithelialization, was uh, performed here on this upper portion. And then this triangular portion of tissue, I've actually excised that, so that will come off. Now what we have is the superior pedicle supplying blood to this nipple areolar complex and then the implant. Now the implant is indeed in the subglandular position, so above the muscle. So here's the capsule right here, and we will see shortly if that implant is ruptured or not. You can go on with this electric cautery, and because this implant is not part of her, it won't, uh, it won't damage the implant if it touches it. So there is some fluid there that you can see coming out, and that's not too uncommon to see. But the implant itself does not appear to be does not appear to be ruptured. Usually, if it is, you'll you'll see silicone leaking out. Now, this capsule is pretty is pretty firm on there. So. Some people believe you should remove the capsule at all times. I only think it's really necessary if it's pretty firm or if it's calcified. So the capsule is pretty firm, so I'll probably just go ahead and take out the entire capsule on this side. That may or may not need to be done on the other side, but it's a pretty thick capsule. Implant is not ruptured. It is actually a textured implant, as you can see right there, and it is above the muscle. So I'm gonna work on getting this, um, this capsule out. I'll come back and show you when I'm done with that. So I've dissected all the way around that capsule. I did open it. I just wanted to see if it was ruptured first and see the status of it. So it's a pretty thick capsule. This is much thicker than you would find in a normal situation. So here it is. I've removed the entire, the entire capsule. So it's a complete capsulectomy. It was above the muscle. There's the muscle that's down. Normally that would be up if it was under. So you can relax here. Um, and you can see with these capsules are sort of interesting because when they become real scarred, they deform the implant. So what was a round implant becomes deformed to whatever shape that scar contracture uh, places on it. Can I see a met scissors? So let's, uh, so if we cut some more, now I can take that whole implant out of the capsule. Kind of like Velcro on these uh, textured implants. really is like Velcro. Um, so there's the capsule. There's the implant. You can see the implant's almost, it's kind of deformed because that's, for years it's been, it's been pushed like that. So it's not, it's not in its normal shape anymore. And um, if I can see properly without my headlight, it has a marking of 350 cc's. The brand is something I'm not familiar with. It was placed in Mexico. They can use brands that uh, we don't necessarily have over here, but there it is. It's actually, it's a shaped implant too, or it's supposed to be a shaped implant because it's marked, here's the bottom of it. So it's a bigger, bigger on bottom than on top. But because of the contracture, it really made it into a, a round or a sort of an, an oval or deformed type of shape because that's how it was sitting in the capsule like that. Anyway, it's out. We're not going to replace it. We'll wash out the pocket real good and we'll start closing and then we'll go over to the other side. But a little bit interesting and different type of case. All right, so we're all done with this side. I've, I've closed the incision. I did put a drain in. 
Um, when you remove that capsule, you create a, a lot of raw tissue that can potentially produce a seroma. So this side's completely done. Gonna go over to the left side and see what we find. Likely do the same thing. This side here, I went ahead and did the same thing. I removed that tissue, the epithelial the skin. There's a little nick in the capsule. It's not nearly as hard as the other. Uh, it is a textured uh, implant as well. Um, and it's not nearly as firm, but because I went ahead and removed the whole capsule on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Kind of what you do on one side, probably should do on the other side. So I'll do a quick uh, complete capsulectomy on this side, and then we'll start to close. Okay, so the left sides, I've removed the uh, implant and capsule for the most part. You can see when the capsule is not as thick, it just, it doesn't come off as clean. There's just, there's really just not as good of a plane. Um, this was slightly thick, and so when they're normal and you take them out, you end up always removing a decent amount of, of normal tissue also. But let's, let's cut this one open. It's intact as well. But <clears throat> same sort of situation. You can see how the implant is folded. The implant has deformed to the scar contracture of this capsule. And that's what makes the breast not look right. So you can see that big fold down the middle right there. That, that shouldn't be there. But that's the result of this capsule becoming thick. So again, it's a, it's a textured and it's a shaped implant, but it's been that way for so long. You see it's basically caused a permanent fold in the implant. Um, Same size implant of 350 cc's. It was a, some kind of implant from Europe. Well, again, a brand I'm not familiar with that we don't have available in the United States. So it should sit like this and it should be like that, but over the years with contracture, it's made it sit something like that. So we're gonna wash out that pocket and we'll start closing and I'll show you when we're all done. Here's the capsule. You can see on this side, much, much thinner, but still strong enough to cause uh, the deforming of the implant. We're all done. Uh, both sides have had implant removed, complete capsulectomies, as well as mastopexies performed. I showed you the key steps to that. On this side, the capsule was really very thick. On the other side, it was moderately thick, but both capsules were completely removed. So here we are completely finished. Preoperative uh, uh, appearance with the implants in place. Again, we talked a lot about it replacing implants using fat or using some other modality. She just wanted the implants removed. That's what we did. Dr. Mark Jaber, Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center of El Paso. Thank you for watching. You can also follow me on Instagram, Dr. 915.